welcome back to principles of management class uh, today in class we are going to start with uh, planning uh, chapter it is unit 2 uh, in the previous class we discussed about uh, the definition of planning nature and scope of planning uh, today's class we are going to see the planning process okay planning process constitute of this seven steps starting from identify goals then developing planning premises then formulate strategies evaluation of alternatives and select course of action then implement the planning then controlling and evaluation so as we see the first step is setting goals so goals are objective it may be a long time goal or short time goal as you know the long time goal may be for one month or one week or one year up to two years and long term goal may be more than two years it may be five years or even 10 years so here what is our target okay for example 25% growth over last year sales in present financial year so what happens a company may want to increase their sales Uh, 25% more than the previous year previous financial year that may be an example for a uh, uh, setting the goal and another example to make the uh, concept clear is to increase the market share by 5% in next 5 years as you all know what is a market share it is the out of all the market uh, i mean uh, in that market how much percentage of uh, The customers are using our product or patronizing our product, so they constitute our market. So, if a business want to increase their market share, okay, so uh, they want to do by five percentage in the future five years, okay. So that is an another example of setting a goal. Then second uh, step is analyzing and evaluating the environment. Here, environment means the business environment. so analyze the present position and resources available to achieve the objectives so what is our present position in terms of if we take a market share so we may be a market leader our business may be a market leader or may be a market follower or it may be a niche market so the resources you mentioned the uh, different ems like uh, uh, money uh, man material missionary and all those things so when we want to achieve some uh, position okay we need also also to see the feasibility of doing that that is possible with the resources we are having okay to carry out our objectives so that is also so it has to be in line our resources should support uh, our in achieving our objective so that we need to properly check where are we now okay so Uh, in which position we are we are among our competitors in terms of technology in terms of possessing any resources are we having any unique or special resources uh, what are the competitive advantages we are having over our competitors so that shows where we are okay in the environment what are the limitations in the environment limitations uh, from our business perspective that we need to see limitation means disadvantages okay what could be the disadvantages uh, which arise from the environment for us then what resources do we have which we discuss already i mean uh, from there we know where we can reach you i mean utilizing or using our existing resources are there any external factors that can influence objectives or in their accomplishment okay so Uh, internal factor is under our control but external factor is uh, uh, not our control so if it is favorable then we can utilize for achieving our objective so here we also when we do the environmental scanning here we also need to see whether the uh, the external factors are in favor of uh, or not unfavorable of them so what are the things favorable of, uh, to us in achieving our objective that we need to i mean identify and utilize then determining the alternatives uh, construct a list of possible courses of action that will lead you to to your goal once you realize uh, you identify the necessary resources uh, i mean uh, uh, opportunities uh, for, uh, favorable opportunities uh, i mean resources all those things then uh, whatever we can utilize to achieve our goal certain things may be lacking so if certain 
aspects are against us from the environment then how uh, we are going to achieve our goal okay what are our alternatives we got in order to achieve our goal okay so that is that is determining the alternatives like say in hotels uh, a few years back uh, the uh, government uh, in our state and many states in india they banned the use of plastic so uh, hotels they use plastic uh, bag as a uh, i mean uh, uh dust bag okay uh, to uh, i mean uh, to collect all the uh, soiled clothes okay from the rooms okay as a bag so what happens since the plastic is banned the hotel started using uh, cane uh, baskets okay to collect the soiled uh, laundry bags so to collect soiled linens and to deliver the uh, fresh laundered uh, clothing so what happens so the unfavorable condition for the hotel is that uh, uh, i mean uh, banning of plastic so wherever plastic is there they are coming with alternatives like one example just now mentioned in place of laundry bag to collect the soiled uh, linens and clothing it is being replaced or found alternative uh, in terms of uh, using or issuing the uh, cane baskets okay so that is the called the determining the alternatives whenever any unfavorable condition arise from the uh, the environment then the business need to uh, determine or identify up, uh, favorable things which can be an alternative to the unfavorable things okay then evaluating the alternatives when you identify that then see how, what are the advantages of using that is it cost effective is it like good to use it is like uh, what is a durable and all those things so, so listing and considering the various disadvantages and advantages of each of our possible course of action that's very important giving weightage there are not may, there may not be just one there may be several uh, other alternatives among other uh, several other alternatives you uh, see uh, which one got more advantage and less uh, disadvantage this way we select the best alternative among a few which we identified okay that is called evaluating the alternatives so then the selecting the best uh, solution selecting the course of action that has the most advantages and fewer serious advantages that's very important as i told you uh, among all the uh, alternative we found try to give priority to the one which has got more advantages and definitely there is no such thing called a particular alternative is 100% perfect there will be some a uh, few things which are disadvantages but what we have to see which one got more percentage of advantages or more advantages and less disadvantage that option or that alternative the business need to select then implementing the plan okay determine who will be involved okay so here when we uh, once uh, finalize our plan then it's a time to implement the plan so once we uh, implement we will see who will be doing okay so what resources will be assigned uh, to the person to carry out or implement the plan and then how the plan will be uh, i mean evaluated and the reporting procedure evaluated means um, once the plan is executed uh, the, the management need to know how far the planning has been done properly implemented in terms of in implementation and then how to evaluate uh, there are different evaluation methods to know whether they are not deviating from the original plan and the particular plan will be used and a goal will be achieved in within the given deadline that's very important and what are the reporting procedures the person will be uh, reporting to their uh, superiors so that's the thing and the last one is controlling and evaluating the results making certain that the plan is going according to the expectations and uh, making necessary adjustment then and there okay uh, through evaluation they and control the manager or superior they monitor the progress of the uh, subordinates and then if there is any deviation then rectify it and uh, streamline it so that uh, the goal is achieved uh, through the proper planning process and it is achieved within the deadline stipulated that's so these are the seven uh, steps in the planning process <clears throat> next we go to the topic of importance of planning 
so when you uh, plan properly okay then so these things will happen first there will be a better coordination a focus on forward thinking planning is not something happen on the past so it is about uh, the future then uh, it minimizes the uncertainty uh, because uh, sometimes uh, uh, in business uh, certain things happen which is not so certain unexpected so this planning will reduce that unexpected happening then emphasis is on objectives then it encourages innovation uh, participatory work environment that involving the subordinates the decision making and empowering them all this comes under the participatory work environment then more effective control systems to in terms of monitoring and evaluating the subordinates and it improves the competitive strength that's a competitive advantage of business have has over the other competitors then economical operation it will help to reduce the cost so thereby we can increase the profit so these are some of the importance we discuss one by one so better coordination planning provides a foundation for the coordination of broad range of organizational activities a plan helps to define the responsibilities of individuals and work groups and help coordinate their activities so if uh, for a particular goal or some objective if planning is done in a proper manner so what happens this will uh, allocate who will do okay what job they will do okay who it will answer all this uh, w's okay who will do what they will do when they will do and then how they will do okay so uh, why they will do this four uh, w and one h this uh, i mean uh, this questions will be answered once when these questions are answered who what when how why when these five questions are answered then each and every person in a, a group or if a person is working individually will be very uh, have will clarify i mean the clarity and what they are doing how they are doing when they will they need to do okay when they need to finish and all those things so so planning will help in having a coordination among uh, group members then focus on forward thinking uh, as we discussed the planning functions forces managers to think ahead and consider resource needs and potential opportunities so are threats that organization may face in the future so what happens when the ma manager is doing a proper planning and uh, those kind of stuff so what happens they know what are the resources they required in order to carry out the plan so uh, they will identify when they identify this uh, resources requirement they see whether it is uh, with them if they don't have enough then they may request the management to provide the necessary resources that's one uh, one part the other part will this will uh, give them idea what are the potential opportunities and threats the organization may uh, face in the future so that they can be i mean uh, prepare themselves for the threat and utilize the opportunity for the beneficial of the organization so that is the second point then it minimizes the uncertainty the future is generally uncertain and things are likely to change with the passage of time so planning helps in minimizing the uncertainties of the future as it anticipates future events so what happens as all of us know not only in business in our even our personal life we don't know what will happen in the future but uh, thinking that oh uh, anything may happen we cannot be simply i mean sitting idle leaving everything to the what do you say uh, to the uh, uh, just simply like that to the god or something like that okay we need to plan okay so when we do the planning uh, i mean for our personally or for the organization so what happens to some extent we will be able to uh, predict the future events okay so what happen in this way i mean uh, the organization will be prepared okay so and then this will reduce the uh, uncertainties okay so planning one way minimizes the uncertainty then emphasis on objectives the first step is planning is to fix the objective when the objectives are clearly fixed the execution of plan will be facilitated towards these objectives so what happens it gives emphasis on objective so if you don't know the goal then how do you object uh, i mean achieve towards it say for instance to make it very simple there is a saying if you don't know where you are going 
okay uh, any bus will take you something like that uh, if you are not sure what you need to achieve then you will do uh, i mean literally everything and end up in literally nothing so what happens in order to do something you need to know what is the objective so planning will help you to fix your uh, objectives so, so once your objectives or goals are clear then you know how to execute your i, I mean uh, strategy so that your planning i mean so that your uh, goals or objectives are achieved and then next it in uh, planning encourages innovations planning is basically the deciding function of management many new ideas come to the mind of a manager when he is planning this creates an innovative and foresighted attitude among the managers so what happens uh, it's a management function as you know uh, planning so what happens when they started uh, do the planning then there may be a thought of uh, some constraints and all those things so when some, when some constraints comes uh, in the planning then what happens they will come up with a new way of uh, Uh, doing things that's a new process then what happens then, then creative minds of the people will come up with the uh, innovative process or innovative things so in other way uh, planning uh, encourages uh, uh, to go for innovation then participatory work environment successful planning requires a participation of wide range of organizational members organizational members are more likely to accept a plan that they have uh, helped to develop so what happens uh, planning is not just done by one person maybe it may be done by one person with the help of others but in terms of implementation it can be implemented only with a group of people successfully so what happens when a group of people are need to execute the plan and implement the plan then what will happen they have to put the heart and soul to ensure that the plan planning is implemented successfully so one strategy to make them uh, i mean put all the mem group members 100% effect is to participating uh, to make them participate in a Uh, coming up with the uh, goal so once a manager involves a subordinate uh, in decision making in uh, fixing the goal and all those things what happens they, they uh, own their uh, goal own their means that they take responsibility wow oh, they think that the subordinates feel that oh we are been included in uh, making this decision making this objective fixing this goal so it means that we are part and parcel of the goal so they put their heart and soul they work uh, towards uh, to achieve the goal successfully okay so that's how a participatory work environment okay will help in achieving the objective so this is possible uh, through proper planning or planning then uh, planning will help more effective control systems an organization's plan provides a foundation for control of the processes and progress of the company uh, the implementation of plan can be evaluated and progress towards achievement of performance objectives can be monitored so what happens when uh, a management team or a manager uh, comes up with the plan okay uh, uh, with their subordinates and all those things they uh, start implementing the plan okay once they do implement the plan the manager or management need to know how far the plan is successful okay how far they have uh, the subordinates are able to achieve the plan okay so that when they want to do they need to monitor and they need to evaluate okay so that's a control procedure control provides mechanism for ensuring that the organization is moving the right direction and making progress towards achieving its goal so what happens Uh, uh then and there this control mechanism has to be done okay that's done through the proper evaluations so there are different uh, methods of evaluation okay like in uh, manufacturing unit uh, the very famous one is like a 360 degree uh, evaluation okay or like a individual one means we can say like a sa type of evaluation there are different types even in uh, what do you say educational institution there may be a, 
uh, self evaluation of the faculty members and all there are different types of evaluation so the manager need to decide according to the type of business or organization or according to the type of subordinate okay sometime a matured person or maybe a youngsters so according to the people type of organization the uh, scenario the evaluation methods will differ so evaluation method will give you the control over the implementation of the plan and uh, thereby uh, uh, hi highlighting okay how far the uh, plan is uh, executed uh, successfully and then they are able to achieve the organizational goal okay then it improves the competitive strength so planning enables an enterprise to discover new opportunities which give its competitive edge so what is competitive edge competitive edge means uh, the uh, advantage a business is having over their competitors that is called competitive advantage or competitive strength uh, yeah, for example a business may have a fantastic uh, uh, human resources people okay who are very highly skilled and knowledgeable and qualified the competitors may not have so this may be one competitive advantage when we do planning you will find or identify your competitive advantage it is better for business to have several layers of competitive advantage not just having one or two uh, few competitive advantages if it is one or two and it, if it is easily replicable means uh, then uh, the competitors will replicate that uh, advantage and then what happens a business may not have so a business need to look for uh, several competitive advantages so that they are building layer after layer of competitive advantage it can be a, a price it can be the human resources it can be the uh, resources access it can be uh, uh, the potential of them to uh, produce something it can be a technology so uh, planning helps them to identify new new opportunities and uh, build a competitive advantage or you have uh, find a competitive edge over their competitors then next one is economical operations since planning involves a lot of mental exercise it helps in proper utilization of resources and elimination of unnecessary activities here what happens uh, by through uh, planning what happens we can avoid uh, or eliminate unnecessary activities and thereby reducing the cost so this uh, will lead to what happens a reduction in the cost and thereby uh, increasing the saving and thereby the profit so these are the i mean uh, advantages of uh, uh, planning in the organization okay that's all for today in the next class we will uh, uh, study about uh, different types of plan okay thank you